I'm going to show you how to take care of uh, if you have website hassles. Um, uh, you can go to this Google and look at it, Tezoodle thing, and see the little single page website I made. But um, what you want to do is you want to purchase a domain from GoDaddy. When you purchase a domain, you will own it. Own it. When you click that, I actually get credit for pennies because these things are so doggone cheap. Then you'll enter domain name you want. Let's say you're making fresh uh, cookies by mom.com. Fresh cookies by mom.com. I'm going to press search, see if it, the domain name exists, because I know it's got a, nobody would have written such a domain name. And you'll note there's a bunch of different ones. Here's one, Fresh Cookies by Mom Info. It's only 99 cents or 89 cents. What a deal. Um, dot .info um, isn't as um, happy for uh, Google searching and such. I'd get the dot .com, anything you get by a com. So you, you buy the website. Once you buy the website, then you go to your domain manager. The reason I'm showing you the domain manager and buying it, you just go through and proceed to check out. Don't order all the extra junk they have you order and do not let them host it for you. You're gonna, I'm going to host it for you or you'll host it at um, HostGator. There's a big fat reason for that. If you go to your domains, you'll have one in there. On this one, I'm just going to click, here's one, presidentobrama.info. And what I'm going to do is I need to, when I host this with HostGator, I need to manage the name servers. So I click this little clicker rooney thing here, right here, name servers, manage. Another window will pop up. In this particular one, these are the name server one and name server two for a particular host that I'm using at HostGator. You fill in the one that I will give you these numbers to put in there, and you will fill that in. Once you click OK, I'm going to pretend I clicked OK. You are done with uh, what you have to do with GoDaddy. Um, I've given you a link as well that I'm going to show you about HostGator. So you're going to click the link to HostGator. And we're going to use the smallest account they have. It's called the baby account. You click my link and you click order now. This uh, hosting order now. So I'm going to the cheapest one, or less, least expensive. And I'm going to um, use my existing domain and update my name servers. So I'm just going to make up one. So I put the existing domain, I, put, I made up a name, My Mom's Cookies, whatever it is, you do have to use the correct one. And I'm going to select the baby. It's very important you select the baby. The reason you select the baby is... Um, you'll see. Is it cost nine ninety five? dollars uh, There is no coupon code for, for the baby package. Then you calculate the totals. Then because back to where we were starting this video again, I'm going to click I am a new customer. Click continue. And the rest you just fill out. It's pretty obvious stuff. Once you're done, uh, it's going to ask you about verifying your order and putting your credit card in. I'm going to now show you what you do once that's done. Once that information is put in, uh, you're done with what you have to do with GoDaddy. At this point, you just tell me what it is if you're using my um, $67 website or using my website, um, single page thing, or you do it yourself here. And what you do if you do it yourself here is uh, they're going to give you a link to a C panel, and what you're going to do at that point is you're going to slide down to domains and you're going to do an add on domain. Type in here a lot of things can automatically fill out my mom's. Be sure you fill it out in lowercase letters. Watch when I click the button, all these things happen. Make up a password. You could use Generate Password, which is kind of nice because they're really strong. So we'll use that password. And um, your, you copy the password. And then you um, click Add Domain. And the domain will be put in there. And, and you're done with that.